This presentation includes forward-looking statements that are subject to risks and uncertainties. Actual results may differ materially as a result of various risk factors, including those described in the 10Ks, 10Qs, and 8Ks VMware files with the SEC. The impact of cloud is undeniable. Driving change, engaging customers with new experiences, and redefining the relationship of every business with every market and every community. Cloud has forever changed the way business services transform from inspiration to reality and how we unlock insights from a vast expanse of data and most importantly, how we move ever faster and accelerant for innovation. Zim is on the way to become one of the leading companies in the container shipping, leading with innovation, with digital transformation. Innovation is not a project, this is a culture. To enable the business to be competitive, the biggest challenge is to give a much faster solution. Our task was to provide better decision-making tools for our business in a dynamic market while improving response time to customers. That VMware solution would not only allow us to get production much faster, it would also teach us a modern methodology and practice for a cloud-native development. With this mixture of modern development platform and modern development practices, we know we'll be able to meet the ever-changing needs in our competitive landscape with minimal time from concept to production. And in a year where we face our greatest challenges, it is a path to hope, connecting essential services with those in need when it matters most. In the past year, Pfizer played an essential role and helping small businesses access the funding they needed to continue operating. When the U.S. government approved critical funding to help small businesses in the form of the Payroll Protection Program, we knew that speed would be essential. We needed to build an entirely new way for the small business customers of our thousands of financial institution clients to apply for these loans. Our teams deployed 436 releases to production in just 28 days. In the first weeks, we enabled tens of thousands of loans to be processed, and to date, FISERV has helped secure more than $4.1 billion in funding for small businesses. In the face of unprecedented challenges, FISERV delivered when it mattered the most. And now, cloud moves to an even more powerful stage, ushering in a new era of applications as we unlock the power of every cloud to drive innovation faster than ever. 436 releases in less than a month, over $4 billion secured in funding for small businesses. That is the kind of impact all of us want, and this kind of speed used to be unthinkable. COVID did not create digital transformation. COVID accelerated it and made us all comfortable moving at this type of speed. In fact, that is what I hear when I talk to all of you. It's about how do I transform and how do I transform faster? And this is why you see the tremendous amount of energy and spending on application modernization and on moving to the cloud. These are in fact two sides of the same coin and both are driven by digital transformation. But it's one thing to do a digital transformation of a single business process or for a line of business. It's quite another to go do enterprise-wide digital transformation. Because all of a sudden now, you got applications that are being deployed on multiple clouds. You still got applications in the data center and being modernized there as well. And you got applications being deployed at the edge. In fact, our customers talk about a two plus one or a two plus two strategy. Two public clouds, their data center turned into a private cloud, and the edge operating as a cloud. It is this distributed picture that's becoming the norm for most of our customers. And this leads to a lot more complexity and a lot more diversity. All of a sudden, you've got all of these silos, and each of these silos has its own way of management and security. In fact, it is this complexity that's slowing down enterprise transformation. It's affecting the pace at which we can modernize applications. It's affecting the speed at which 
we can move applications to the cloud. It is creating all these silos of management and security. It's creating complexities in the edge. And to top it all, the developer skills needed to deal with all this complexity is very scarce. This is the challenge that we see a lot of CIOs facing today. Our vision for the multi-cloud is aimed precisely at solving this CIO challenge. Our solution is to deliver an ubiquitous software infrastructure across all clouds, in the data center, and in the edge, allowing developers to modernize the application in the cloud of their choice using the cloud native services of that particular cloud. At the same time, allowing IT to take existing applications and move them to the cloud of their choice. Tying it all together with a common set of management and security tools. This is the vision for VMware Cloud. VMware Cloud is the only platform built for this distributed multi-cloud world. It's delivered consistently from the data center to the edge across all of these clouds. With the power to run on the ubiquitous VMware infrastructure and directly on the native clouds of your choice. It is the optimal platform for all of your applications, your traditional applications and your modern applications, and with the ability to control all of this from one single location. Now, for the developers building new applications, they have access to all of the native cloud services. If they are on AWS, they have services like AWS Lambda. If you are on Azure, services like Azure Machine Learning. If you're on Google, Google BigQuery. So developers can spend more time building their applications faster, while the operators can have a unified infrastructure with centralized governance, centralized control, centralized management and security to provide the enterprise with the enterprise resiliency and the reliability that CIOs expect with built-in security and a consistent operations and governance model. This is VMware Cloud. For the five million developers building on VMware every day, this is the fastest path to delivering innovations for your business. For the 85 million workloads running on VMware today, this is the fastest path to the cloud. And for the hundreds of thousands of companies built on VMware, companies like Mercedes-Benz IO, American Airlines, Yelp, Intuit, VMware Cloud gives you access to every cloud anywhere in the world. VMware Cloud is essential in unlocking three key areas of transformation. Application transformation, DevSecOps transformation, and of course, cloud infrastructure transformation. To dive deeper into the first two, let's welcome Craig McClucky, VP of R&D at VMware and founder of the Kubernetes project. Craig, VMware is known as an infrastructure company. What is our role in app transformation? When we talk about digital transformation, it historically has been a bit of a, a buzzword for a lot of organizations. But with recent events in society, it's becoming an absolute imperative. It's never been more important for enterprise organizations to be able to lean on the strength of the development teams to solve real-world business problems. And just as our enterprise organizations have walked through this destination where many of them are starting to self-identify as software companies, things have changed for VMware too. You may not realize this, but we have about 5 million developers that use technologies that VMware builds and supports every day. Those developers are starting about one and a half million applications every month. And it's not just for us about the commercial products that we offer. It's about the work that we're doing in the open source communities to make the lives of developers better, to offer up some really interesting and innovative capabilities that enable them to solve real world business problems and accelerate our customers' paths into the digital future. This is really different than how people think about VMware. What kind of things are we doing about it? 
As with many things, it really starts with just getting started. There's so many interesting and compelling technologies that are being built out there. Linux application containers, Kubernetes, a whole wave of innovation that's happening on that ecosystem. And our job is to just make that accessible to developers who may be unfamiliar with it. Starting with things like well-curated Linux application containers, getting started templates that meet the exacting standards of enterprises, and to just help people get going. And it's also about just making it easier in terms of getting those applications once they've been developed into the production environment, removing a lot of the drudge work associated with setting up a staging environment or setting up that production environment, and really thinking through that end-to-end -end flow. And as I like to say, agile teams need agile infrastructure. And what we're building with VMware Cloud is just that, agile infrastructure. We're moving from a world where the tools and capabilities that developers need are no longer served at the other end of a ticket request, but can actually be accessed directly through APIs, which is ultimately the language that developers speak. Now, it's also important not to look at application modernization and a lot of these progressive trends as a take it or leave it thing. There's an entire spectrum of capabilities, and enterprises are dealing with an incredibly rich and complex portfolio of technologies. And so being able to work with an organization and not say legacy application, I prefer to say heritage application because this is what is running the business, and start to assess that portfolio of technologies and identify what's the return on investment associated with engaging with and embracing a new capability, whether that's an approach from a development perspective or increasingly how you factor or architect the application. And that's where Tanz is here to help, not just in terms of delivering a set of capabilities that are naturally integrated and accessible in any public cloud environment uh, or in the, the on-premises environments, but also increasingly looking at delivering out the skills that organizations need to make best use of those capabilities. So through things like our Application Navigator program, which really combines both the technologies that Tanz is offering but also a rich set of skills from seasoned practitioners that have been on this journey for a while that can work to up-level an organization's capabilities. We're really bringing it all together with Tanzu. OK, so that's how we help developers be more productive. Now let's talk about DevSecOps transformation. When we talk about DevSecOps transformation, this really was catapulted into the fore through the introduction of Linux application containers. They solved some problems that were hard and made them a lot more you know, easy to deal with. So the ability to package up an application delivered into a production environment, deterministically updated with fewer moving parts really changed the game. Now, when people think about Linux application containers, they almost always go to Kubernetes as a way to manage and organize those containers and to deliver them into a production environment. And VMware is increasingly engaged in the Kubernetes community. We do a lot of work to make Kubernetes a more accessible technology for enterprises, organizations directly in the community. But we're also increasingly bringing Kubernetes into the VMware Cloud environment through our Tanzu um, our product offerings to just make it accessible to developers and operators both. But it doesn't stop with Kubernetes, does it? No, Kubernetes is just a starting point. When you think about what it actually takes to modernize your approach to delivering software, there's a lot of moving parts. It starts with the ability to effectively go from code to a built production container that's really optimized and uh, set up appropriately to meet the enterprise's requirements. It involves setting up the continuous integration systems that will then deliver that into a production repository that can be secured and scanned. It's about thinking through what continuous delivery looks like. How do you actually set this up so that your operations team can deliver that into a, a production destination? And it's also about putting the, the, the second DevSecOps. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the security side of the house. As you start looking at that flow, you want to be able to introduce policy as control points at every stage of the game and to set everything up using production identities that meet your unique uh, security requirements as an enterprise organization. You also have to think through things like connectivity. When we talk about modern applications, these applications can actually be quite complex. Microservices introduce a lot of different moving parts. So having technologies like an enterprise-grade service mesh and working with an organization that has really deep networking capabilities is an imperative. And then finally, it's not just about getting the application there. It's about thinking about the care and feeding of that application. And observability really comes to the forefront from that perspective. Being able to understand and track the metrics of the application and then really look at things like application um, performance management and optimization for the application. And so with Tanzu, we've, we've really brought that all together with an end-to-end -end suite. 
And what we aspire to here is, is to deliver a secure enterprise software supply chain that goes from the developer's IDE, the place where they do their work, all the way out into the production environment. Thank you, Craig. Now to talk about the cloud infrastructure transformation using VMware Cloud Foundation, let me hand it over to Kit Colbert, CTO of cloud for VMware. Thanks, Raghu. Infrastructure modernization is key to any digital business strategy. It's essential in supporting developers, building modern applications, and taking forward existing applications. It's also critical to operators who are looking to automate and adopt modern cloud operational models. Now, when we talk about modernizing infrastructure, what we're really talking about is the shift from a traditional virtualized data center to a modern cloud infrastructure, whether that's in the public cloud, in the data center, or at the edge. Again, it's about the cloud as a model rather than cloud as a place. Because the reality is that the traditional data center model wasn't supporting developers. They don't want to have to file a ticket to get access to resources. They don't want to have to wait for anybody. They want to be able to call an API. They want to be able to get self-service access to that resource immediately and go about doing their jobs building these applications. They want the infrastructure to be able to scale to meet the needs of their applications. And this is why businesses want to go to cloud. The problem, though, is that shift is often disruptive because of the fundamental change of infrastructure between their on-prem data center and cloud. That infrastructure change means the application has to be changed. It's got to be refactored or rewritten. It means the operational tooling has to be changed. This adds to cost and risk of that migration. In the end, it makes it harder. But it doesn't have to be that way. And this is how VMware Cloud is different. We're focused on consistent infrastructure everywhere, on evolving that underlying infrastructure that powers 85 million applications across the world today, and extend that infrastructure to AWS, to Azure, to Google Cloud, to thousands of other cloud provider partners. We've made it incredibly easy to migrate applications to the cloud. There is no refactoring or rewriting of the application. There is no changing of the operational tooling. It's fully automated. In fact, it can be done at the click of a button. And once you're in the cloud, it's even easier to modernize your applications. Again, you're leveraging a modern cloud infrastructure, and you have direct access to powerful native public cloud services. And VMware Cloud does all this with enterprise reliability, intrinsic security, and unified operations for any cloud. VMware Cloud is truly built for today's multi-cloud world. It is based on a core infrastructure building block called VMware Cloud Foundation. VMware Cloud Foundation is comprised of compute, storage, network, and management, and can be deployed on top of any infrastructure or public cloud. In that way, it's got a very horizontal architecture, can lay down on top of any infrastructure, and it supports any application. And we're continually evolving VMware Cloud to support the latest in application technologies. Last year, we announced the integration of Kubernetes deeply into VMware Cloud Foundation. What this means is that now with a single platform, you can have both traditional applications and modern applications inside of Kubernetes running side by side, using the same tooling to manage them. But it's more than just Kubernetes. We're working closely with NVIDIA to deliver best of breed capabilities around AI and ML workloads, making VMware Cloud the premier place for those workloads in the enterprise. VMware Cloud is the single unified platform for all of your applications and allows you to choose the best place to run each of those applications easily, migrating them wherever they need to go. And it's because of this that VMware Cloud uniquely delivers both speed and confidence. Speed to move to the cloud faster than ever. Speed to then modernize your applications faster than ever. Confidence in a trusted infrastructure platform that already runs your mission-critical applications, and confidence to modernize at your own pace based on your business priorities, leveraging your existing investments. But this is just the beginning. To talk more about how we're making VMware Cloud more powerful, easy to use, and consume, I'd like to invite up Fidel Marusso, our Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Cloud Services Business Unit. Fidelma. Thank you, Kit. 
As you can see, VMware Cloud is giving every business a powerful platform to accelerate modernization for all applications in the data center and any cloud. But we're not just delivering great technology. We're making this cloud easy to adopt, easy to consume, and with the greatest flexibility. Today, we're introducing VMware Cloud Universal. It's a more flexible subscription for VMware Cloud. And with VMware Cloud Universal, you purchase credits that can be used anywhere, in your own private cloud, at the edge, or in the public cloud. This new, more flexible way of consuming infrastructure, it's built on a cloud operating model. And it has unique freedom to take those credits anywhere. You pay ahead, you use credits at your own pace, you deploy them anywhere, and you can add anytime. This is the perfect subscription as you migrate to the cloud. Whether you're scaling out in a hybrid cloud use case or bursting to the cloud for capacity or taking that next step on your journey to a SaaS and subscription model. With Universal, you have the flexibility to extend your current VMware investments in a unique multi-cloud model. Today, you can use this with VMware Cloud Foundation subscription, VMware Cloud on AWS, and VMware Cloud on Dell EMC. We've had a long running relationship with AWS, and together we've co-engineered our core hybrid cloud solution. Today, we're excited to be launching VMware Cloud Universal with AWS. And to hear more about this, let's hear from Matt Garman, Vice President of Sales and Marketing at AWS. Since launching VMware Cloud on AWS four years ago, we've seen significant adoption across global customer industries, with stories from customers including Sterling National Bank, Penny Mac, S&P Global, William Hill, and many more. These customers have been able to accelerate their application modernization projects through their rapid workload migration onto AWS in the public cloud. In some cases, they've been able to shave years off of the original uh, project migration timelines. Now, one of the great features of VMware Cloud on AWS is that it enables customers to use the exact same tools that they know and love on-premise as well as in the cloud. They can leverage those exact same skills, the same processes, and the same governance that they've come to develop. Workloads that are moved to VMware Cloud and AWS also have seamless access to the full portfolio of AWS services, helping customers modernize faster. With access to services like AWS Redshift, S3, they can do machine learning with SageMaker, or build serverless applications with Lambda and many more. With the VMware Cloud Universal Flexible Subscription, customers can migrate to AWS even faster and easier than ever, and more cost-effectively, allowing them to accelerate their application modernization efforts. This is just another example of the deep and continuously expanding partnership between AWS and VMware, and we really look forward to continuing our partnership efforts with VMware allowing customers to unlock their innovation on AWS even faster than ever. Thanks, Matt. A great example of how together VMware and AWS are continually adding to VMware Cloud for our joint customers. For businesses that want flexibility in the data center or as a local cloud, we're excited to also be launching with Dell Technologies. For more on this, I'd like to introduce Jeff Boudreaux, President and General Manager, Infrastructure Solutions Group at Dell Technologies. Thank you, Fidelma. The data decade is here, and it's rapidly accelerating the pace of digital transformation. Increasingly, businesses need technology solutions that enable them to simply and cost-effectively manage, process, and gain insights from data wherever it may live. VMware Cloud on Dell EMC is a fully managed, secure, and scalable on-premise cloud platform delivered as a service. This local cloud as a service solution combines the simplicity and the agility of public cloud with the security and control of on-prem infrastructure. With today's announcement of VMware Cloud Universal, it gets even better. VMware Cloud Universal brings a highly flexible consumption model to VMware Cloud on Dell EMC. That makes it easier than ever to modernize your data center and edge locations with state-of-the-art enterprise class hardware, software, and services, all while embracing a cloud operating model. For customers who prefer to manage their private cloud infrastructure, we have a world-class portfolio of solutions that are tightly integrated with VMware Cloud Foundation. 
VMware Cloud Universal credits can be used with VMware Cloud Foundation subscriptions, offering you even more flexibility. Together with VMware, we're driving the future of IT infrastructure, and we are committed to a long-term partnership to give customers an integrated, consistent experience to power their digital transformation. Fidel, move back over to you. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you for your partnership. Now, included in your VMware Cloud Universal subscription is a dedicated success manager from our new Success 360 program. Our team will help you set clear goals, onboard and adopt new capabilities, and deliver dedicated, proactive support to tackle the biggest challenges you may have. And finally, we have to have some technology. And so we are introducing VMware Cloud Console, the unified interface for VMware Cloud Universal. As an operator, you will have a single view for all your credits. You will have the power to allocate those credits to any environment with ease, and you will have the knowledge that you're getting the most value from your VMware investments. We've talked about a lot of technology here, and to see it in action, I'd like to introduce Joe Bagley, VMware's VP and CTO for EMEA. As you just heard, we're going to show you three transformations, apps, DevSecOps, and cloud infrastructure. We're going to bring this to life for you with a series of demos now that show how people are actually doing this. There's many requirements, and of course, speed is critical. At the same time, we must keep mission-critical applications running. This is your classic keeping the plane flying whilst changing engines scenario. I mean, luckily, VMware has developed a portfolio to help navigate this challenging complexity. So let's start with the problem of delivering a modern customer experience. This requires major application changes or an application transformation. But before we talk more about that, let's hear from a customer who found they needed to do exactly this at an extremely fast pace for a solution that people needed to trust and where success was literally a matter of survival for their customers. With more than 35 years of fintech and payments leadership, Fiserv enables its customers to move and manage money with ease, speed, and convenience. Embracing microservices and APIs have streamlined the Fiserv developer experience, removing friction and stimulating innovation. This has accelerated our path to new and modernized applications, encouraging us to deliver critical business services to production faster, securely, and continuously. In the end, with just 15 developers working on the payroll protection solutions, we were able to deliver over 100,000 lines of code using CI-CD pipelines to deliver 436 releases to production in just 28 calendar days. We couldn't have done this if our cloud infrastructure wasn't ready and waiting to fill the need. Now, almost a year later, we've created more than 700 automated pipelines to build, scan, test, and deploy many of our existing products, with more coming each week. Across a wide portfolio, friction is getting removed, and the teams are excited. I think you'll agree that's a fantastic story there that really speaks to the importance of these transformations. But to explore that more, I'm here with Mandy Priamo. Mandy, welcome. Hi, Joe. What we see here is clearly a scenario where a customer is taking a business critical application and modernizing it by adding a new microservice. They can't rewrite everything, as clearly that would take too long and introduce an enormous amount of risk. So they approach the problem in steps, selecting pieces of functionality to rewrite as a modern microservice component with a clear API back to the monolith. The challenge with traditional approaches to this problem is that developers are exposed to an overwhelming amount of uncertainty and complexity, and they don't know where to start. Developers would prefer to jump right in and not have to worry about looking for the right tools or technology that they're allowed to use. What we see time and again is that developers do not have a streamlined method for accessing secure, compliant libraries or components. Okay, so that's a whole bunch of problems right there you just laid out. I mean, how do we at VMware solve this? Can we look at the experience of the developer with both Tanzu and VMware Cloud? Of course. Uh, Tanzu offers the ability for developers to start working on a project immediately, right from their desktop or from the SaaS interface. With Tanzu, everyone on the team can easily get access to the tooling environments that they need. The developer can create an application using curated templates as a simple and efficient way to quickly get a project off the ground. These templates take care of all the work required to stand up a new project. For example, templates can be backed with approved tech stacks and working services from the beginning, allowing them to quickly iterate on working code. 
Developers can also make use of integrated application catalogs that provide additional building blocks to rapidly stand up an app, anything from services to APIs. All the necessary tooling is built right into the solution automatically. Developers can focus on writing code and deploying to their workspace. Everything else happens in the background. Cloud native build packs take care of the complexity of build automation, so applications can be deployed to Kubernetes and promoted into production with less manual effort. The developer can then see how their application is running in production, so they know how and where to iterate, if at all. Okay, cool. This is brilliant. I mean, so it seems like having all of these auto-generation, pre-wired, pre-built abilities here enables these developers to spend more time on their core business logic and allowing them to get the app of functionality out there just that little bit quicker, right? Yes, that's exactly it. It's both faster and more secure and enables the modernization of customer experience as requested. All right, so I'm not going to let you get off that lightly. We, we now want to look at the next thing here, which is speed and security. So how do we enable developers to develop both faster but also securely? Right, that's the ops SRE side of many of the tools that we just showed. Okay, cool. So can you maybe go back to the demos on that? But this time, can we look from the perspective of how you enable a DevSecOps transformation? Using Tenzu, platform teams can configure deployment environments for the development teams that they're supporting. For example, they can set up image registry policies that govern how and where images can be pulled, as well as quota policies to manage resource usage and access policies to securely onboard developers. These declarative policies can be tailored to different environments, such as dev, staging, and prod. Then, when new developers join a team and access their deployment resources, these policies are automatically reinforced. In addition to managing policy across deployment environments, platform teams can curate catalogs of components and services to provide developers with self-service access to secure approved application building blocks, like databases and messaging queues. Platform teams can automate the deployment of tools across clusters so that developers can immediately take advantage of those tools. In summary, we are making the lives of platform teams easier via automation, security, and multi-cluster operations so they can enable developers to deliver value more expediently. Okay, so that sounds pretty slick to me, to be honest, but is it, is it true that this only works for like brand new written cloud native apps or rewritten apps into cloud native? No, not at all. It's important to note that these DevSecOps tools that we just talked about work on any app, both ones that have been designed to be cloud native and ones that have not. So that's the real power here is that you get all of the benefits for your existing apps. In fact, doing this will actually allow your developers to more quickly modernize their apps. That's actually really cool, Mandy. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem, Joe. But DevSecOps is not just about the application. It's also about the infrastructure. We need infrastructure automation and policy across multi-cloud resources, secure pipelines, and more to support both existing apps and modern ones. To hear more about what we're doing in this space, let's move on and bring in Kit Colbert. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, what you see here is vRealize automation integrated with SaltStack. SaltStack is cool because it's got this huge community of experts driving all sorts of integrations into different endpoints, like you can see here with Tanzu Mission Control. So what we can do is actually take these capabilities and integrate them into vRealize Automation, automating the creation of Kubernetes clusters inside of Tanzu. And indeed, we can take that component and actually put it into what we call a blueprint here to create a cloud template. Now, in addition to automating the cluster creation, we could also add in other elements, like a traditional VM, a network, a storage, you know, really whatever else you want. What this does is create an end-to-end -end infrastructure cloud template. So what we can do is we can take that and we can put it into our infrastructure pipeline here. You can see that this template we just created is the first element of that pipeline. You can also see the second thing there is a security and compliance check. This ensures that infrastructure is good to go and secure and ready to use. Now, if we look at an execution of this pipeline, what we can see is that the infrastructure provision just fine. No problems there. Looks all green. But we can see there's something going wrong with the security and compliance side. We see some yellow there. Now, normally, we can just call an API to remediate this. Again, we can do that all in a very automated fashion. But for the sake of the demo, let's actually dive in and see what's going on. So here we are back in SaltStack. And what we're looking at here is a list of rules created by and updated by VMware based on the most stringent corporate standards. You can choose to apply these to your environment how you wish. 
And what you can see is that this infrastructure we just provisioned actually isn't meeting those requirements. And we can also uh, automatically remediate uh, these issues through a single click or through an API call. So we can do that here really quickly. We can fix that issue. And then we can go back and see this pipeline is executed and everything's set up and ready to go. The really powerful part about this is that what you get is infrastructure that's guaranteed to be secure and compliant out of the box in a totally automated and seamless fashion. Developers can then get access to it because we send them an email with the credentials so they can start using it immediately. And in this way, we can support the much more rapid speed toward application modernization while also ensuring security and compliance. So Kit, how can the company both support this infrastructure change whilst also driving the first two changes? We clearly need a powerful infrastructure transformation. Let's jump into a demo and check it out. So what we're looking at here is the VMware Cloud Console. The idea is that VMware Cloud is everywhere that you want your applications to be on every infrastructure, whether it's in the public cloud, the data center, or edge environments. And now, with the VMware Cloud Console, you can get a bird's eye view into all those different locations. This is really powerful because it enables you to manage at scale. You can quickly see what's going on with a specific site, what its overall utilization looks like, uh, are there any issues happening there? With seamless integration into vRealize operations, we can get a bird's eye view of what's happening from an alerting standpoint. Where are the issues that I need to be focused on? Moreover, I can also get insight into capacity forecasting and requirements. Do I have enough capacity to actually meet future demand? So these are just some of the basic things that I can do within the VMware Cloud Console that really revolutionize how I manage this multi-cloud environment. But VMware Cloud can do more than that because it's not just being everywhere your apps are, it's also extending that powerful infrastructure with integrated solutions that you can see on the left here. I wanna focus on two, the first being migration and the second being Kubernetes, AKA modernization. So on the migration front, we can jump over to uh, our HCX product. And what we see here is that the company was able to do a bunch of migrations seamlessly into different clouds, AWS, Azure, Google, with just a few clicks of the button. Again, no re-architecture, no refactoring, no operational changes. Now they have those applications there, they can leverage this integration with Kubernetes. We talked about everything we just did uh, with Tanzu, Tanzu Mission Control, all this great functionality. And now you can see that reflected here because of the deep integration that we mentioned before between VMware Cloud Foundation and Kubernetes. We can now have a single place where we can see both traditional apps and new apps and operate on them consistently. So VMware Cloud is really focused on supporting both migrating to the cloud as well as modernizing your applications once you get there. So looking back in this very brief tour of the capabilities that make these transformations successful, we've seen how you can, one, enable developers to rapidly build innovative new applications simply, securely, and with the fastest path to production. Two, implement DevSecOps practices, which enable those developers with you know, self-service frameworks, templates, and the supporting cloud infrastructure resources to make it easy and simple for them. And third, we have a cloud infrastructure that's very easy to implement, available anywhere and any way we need it, that has everything needed to build, run, and modernize any type of application. And with that, let's go back to Ragu. Today, we've talked about the challenge of enterprise transformation and the power of VMware Cloud to accelerate innovation in this distributed multi-cloud world. We want to help you get started on this transformation fast. I've got three actions for you. One, plan your app journey with App Navigator. Two, get started today with Tanzu. Three, at the end of the session, you'll find hands-on lab, technical sessions, and other resources available for you. Please take advantage of them.